What's going on, everybody? Brian Daniels here with the Dragon Cast, and uh, I'm here with my podcast partner in crime, Victor Salazar. This is a little bit of a different episode episode we're doing today, huh? Special edition we're doing today over live at Pop. Well, it's not live, but we're over at PopCon today. So that's going to be pretty cool, man. I mean, Dude. the goal, the goal is going to be for both of us to be roaming the halls, you know, hitting up boots. But today, this will work. Absolutely. Work. Yeah, Victor wasn't able to make it make it here with me, but he's here and he's he's here via Zoom. So he's able to see some of these boosts we got going on here. What I'm going to oh, do... Nice. Uh, I see Paranormal Crossing Road. I see well, it. Yeah, you see the Paranormal <laughs> Crossing Road. Hey, you want to say hi to uh, KJ real quick? We can have you say oh, hi yeah, to KJ. Cool, man. Let's go do it. Let's say so uh, hi. everybody in, you know, Indie Pop Con is going on this weekend and a Brian yeah. is roaming around. So, you know, we'll walk around and see who so, we can say hi to and what's going so on. So we're doing man. a live episode. We're not live, but we're doing a recorded version of Dragon Cast. So you are on. There's Victor. Victor, I miss you. Hey. I never get to see you outside a box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, oh my gosh. There we go. I never get to see you outside a box. We need to meet at a con, man. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Tell, tell her that's what I just said. Right he now said, he said that. He said that's what he's saying, too. He's like, yeah. Yeah. We had a great time uh, seeing your show. Yes. So, Victor, we watched. So, we watched Paranormal Crossroad. Uh, they did a live taping last night. Oh, yes. And, that's uh, right. Yeah. And uh, tell, tell them all about Paranormal Crossroad real quick. Okay, so Paranormal Crossroad is the new feel-good show that people who watch Paranormal want. So we go into people's houses um, who are maybe scared of what's happening or they um, have lost a loved one and they think maybe they might be around. Uh, we get our investigative tools out. Kitsy is amazing. Um, and we bring through the spirits that are there and then we wrap it all up with this lovely woman right here. Hello, how are you? Spirit medium Tiffany Rice uh, comes in and does a reading and I, we've got Paranormal Crossroad Tissues, because every time we do an investigation, we bring people happy too. Nice. nice. How was nice. that? That was great. That was great. And uh, I'm sorry yeah, I missed it live. I would have loved to have seen that yesterday. Yeah, he said sorry he missed it live. He would have loved to have seen it yesterday. So I, I turned up a little bit. I turned nice. up a little bit. That was that was great. You're you're amazing, by the way. I love the positivity that you guys bring to the paranormal. That's that's amazing. All right. We'll see you guys. All right. All right. Great seeing you, KJ. Yeah. All right. I'm going to turn <laughs> the camera around so you can see instead of looking at my mug. I'm going to turn the camera forward. All right. Let's let's, let's show the people what's going hey, on. Nice, here nice we go. Out, man. Oh, I yeah, see. You got some... Nice. Yeah. So, we got BKS over here. What's up, so man? I told at... you I'd be by. I told you I'd be by here, man. This is the man. This is the man right here. This is uh, Brock, and uh, he is uh, an artist here at Popcon. Nice. And um, yeah, and uh, if, if we got if my. He uh, mind, if he doesn't mind, show some of the artwork so we can take a look at what we're working with here. Yeah. So my co-host wants to show some of your artwork. We're absolutely going to do that. So if you could tell, uh, I'm going to give you the mic, and if you could just tell people what you're all about and and, and uh, what you, what it is you do and how you and why you love doing it. Well, I'm actually a uh, high school art teacher. Um, I teach in Mendota, Illinois. Um, and uh, the truck girl got me kind of into doing Comic Cons because uh, I was a fan walking around a couple of years ago, well, about three years ago. And as I walked through, um, I walked up to her, uh, struck up a conversation, asked her if she might uh, be willing to come to my school and talk to my kids. And lo and behold, she did. And uh, she saw some of my work and said, I should really go to cons. So uh, she kind of got me going into uh, doing this. And I've been having fun with it ever since um, and doing well. So um, I never believed people actually buy my art until they started buying my art. So uh, it was pretty cool. <laughs> well, let's take a look at some of your art here. So show some of these artworks off you got going on here. All right. Um, I've got up there a... Uh, uh, Red Skull and Captain America, and that's actually a print off of a comic cover that I did in Copic Markers that's down here on the table. Um, and then I've got Doctor Strange, um, kind of manipulated it to look a little bit more like uh, the actor in the movies. Uh, my Hulk, Iron Man, 
Um, and then just a wide array, you know, Captain America, Spider-Man. I guess right now most of my work is Marvel related, nice. but uh, I do have just some fantasy like this. Uh, I have this Pride Dragon here. Um, and oh, that's cool. A few different other ones, like my different uh, takes on Baby Yoda. And this one's uh, my take on Baby Yoda from the Coppertone Baby ads, where uh, <laughs> nice. you got the, the nice. diaper being pulled down. And I love that. I don't know how well you can yeah. see some other ones. I like doing some mashups, some crossovers. So I've got I some of those. Through, uh, Vader. Yeah. That's, That's cool. We've got two different names for him. He's either Darth Poo or Poo Vader. Um, but, <laughs> that's what I thought, too. <laughs> so uh, we got Baby Yoda, uh, or not, excuse me, Baby Yoda, but uh, Yoda and Venom cross over there. And then just some colorful versions of them. Really yeah. Like yeah. Chewbacca, the multicolored Chewbacca. Um, cool. We that. sold, I sold a, uh, a couple of him uh, this weekend too. So people, I, I didn't know if people liked that, but people like it. So, and then my, my absolute favorite, this is my, uh, look at uh, that. That's amazing. three by four Spider-Man that I did kind of in an impressionist painting style. So um, yeah, that? Uh, that was done completely with palette knife. So yeah, palette no, knife and him. slapped it on and smeared the paint. Uh, so quite a bit of work on that. And then uh, some of my Hogwarts of prints over to the side over the there. Does, does Beth, along does with uh, 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 basically my Batman type stuff up to the that's side. Nice to so that's what's, most. What's your, uh, Victor wants to know, like, what is, what is your specialty? Like, is it the knife painting or the. My specialty? Well, here's the thing. I, I'm an art teacher. So I tell everybody I'm a jack of all trades, a master of none. That saying goes on, though. Yeah, I don't remember word so for word, but it's definition. better to be a master. I don't know how it goes. Master of none than to not be a master of any. So like, it's a, a master of few. The master yeah, of few. There, of yeah, there you go. Yeah, Something yeah, like yeah. that. So I, I, I'm like you. I call myself a jack of all trades. Too. Right. So I do. I, I literally teach everything. I teach Photoshop. I teach acrylic painting. I teach drawing. Um, I teach how to do marker art, uh, Copics, and all that kind of stuff. So I that's all in here. That's uh, I, I include it with all my work. So, and then the really cool thing, um, we just started doing this because our business is art textiles. So my wife takes some of the art. Will you grab that one, Kim? She takes some of the art and uh, she puts it on oh, vinyl awesome. that's and prints it on vinyl. So you've got like the art there, and then she does yes. her print designs and that's stuff amazing. there. That is so amazing. So she's got a few different ones, and we're going to keep expanding that as we go too. All so. Right. Now, uh, let me get that from you there. All right. So, uh, so Victor Brock's going to do a, a little giveaway, and we nice. had talked about that. We're going to have Brock on the show. Uh, you and I, we'll, we'll figure something out, uh, and yeah. and uh, we're going to have you on the show do do a little bit more of a proper okay. thing, and we'll have you know br be sure to bring some of your art because we love it when our artists show off things for us when we when we do an episode. And uh, Brock said he's going to give a give us three prints to give away to our viewers and nice. i'll get those from you today and then when we have you on we'll do we'll take off we'll take off the giveaway when we have you on the show and uh awesome. you can awesome, say awesome, you can awesome. say you can say hello to victor there hello victor he sees you <laughs> hey, what's going on, man? <laughs> and i can't um, wait to have this conversation because i love i love talking to yeah artists. victor said he can't wait to have this conversation because he loves he loves art so awesome. but uh we, we appreciate you brock sure, and uh, where can people go online to find your work like yeah. if they want to purchase Twitter. something or things like that uh if they want to purchase anything we have a square website um Boy, I've, I've got to, I would have to give it to you on the card because my wife actually remembers the, the code for that and I don't. So this okay. is really bad. What about Twitter? Uh, if you want to just see my specific art, it's at Art of Brock Sungroth. Okay. Um, I've got a webpage, Art of Brock Sungroth. I'm also on TikTok, um, which is art underscore is underscore life underscore 9799, which I know is a long one. Um, but I have a lot of followers on there. Watch, I do live videos a lot and I also post uh, process videos. So. Nice. I'll show off your banner to Victor over here so we can get all of your social medias and so that way that our viewers can see everything as well. But thank you, Brock. Yes, thank you. We do appreciate thank you. you. And uh, I'll stop by later today. I'm going to be here all day and night. So we'll stop by. I'll get yes, this from you. you. And then uh, I'm probably going to have you pick your three favorite. Okay. All right. How about that? Is that fair enough? All right. <laughs> all right. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. All right. So let's go ahead and show. Um, to get my headset back on here let's go That's ahead and cool, show yeah. yeah so so there is his social medias for you victor you can see all that there 
Oh, I see the Facebook and Instagram. There we go. Yeah. There it is. So that way you guys can go and follow Brock on all those social medias and check out all his art. And uh, she does some uh, awesome purses. These are, oh, these bags are so cool, man. They're so awesome. Here we go. To be able to Check have that some out. of the prints on that. I know your wife would probably like some of that stuff, right, Victor? Oh, yeah, that's awesome right there. Dude, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's right? Absolutely right. Absolutely yeah. right. All right. So we're going to go ahead and move on. I want you to see the rest of uh, PopCon here. Look at this, man. I got some cosplay going oh, on here. Me, oh, that's beautiful. Talk to me about the, uh, the crowd, man. So what do you think? You think that we have a I, pretty good turnout? Oh, not too crowded. It looks like we have some space dude. to walk. How are you feeling, oh, man? Oh, brother, this is um, a lot more than I think people anticipated for for a Saturday. Um, yeah, I would say probably a lot more than what people uh, expected. And uh, I actually talked to one of the uh, organizers here uh, earlier today, and he actually said that they were shocked to see this many people for a Saturday. And nice. um I'll tell you what, there's, there's way more. I'll go that way. So it goes all the way back to that white wall back there, brother. That's how far. I see it. And we'll get in there. We'll go in there and kind of get into the thick of it here in a second. So oh, you can see really see. Right I got, got a, a great, uh, look at this nah, cosplay, man. man. Very nice. I love the cosplay. And um, got some more cosplayers over here as well you know what? I'm, glad. I'm glad to see people went out you know they went out of the way to go ahead and get themselves <laughs> for a show man that's cool yeah i mean it's, it's so good yeah i mean it's so good to see this many people out here and you know out and about just um you know doing all kinds of you know uh cosplay and panels and everything else and uh it feels so good dude to to be there and i actually found out that it was only a couple days ago that they were able to lift the covid restrictions and uh let everybody know that they did not have to wear a mask unless they yeah oh, hi what's, how you doing what are you what are you cosplaying at i am a, I'm a jedi paddle oh, one oh, jedi paddle oh, yeah. oh yeah what's up everybody i don't know who's all here but Hey. Well, hey, we're doing a we're doing a recording of the Dragon Cast right now, so this will be up on Monday. That's so cool! Yeah. That's so cool. Where, so you got you got tons of flair right here. Oh, right. You see, I spend yeah. too much money. She's all flared up, isn't she, Victor? Yeah. Thank you. Thank so, you. What's oh, your what's your name? I'm Katie. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> and where are you from, Katie? I'm from yeah. just south of here, Greenwood, Indiana. Hey, I used to live in Greenwood. Hey, <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, you should do that. You can go to uh, you can go to um, at Spotify. underscore the Dragon Cast. That's our Instagram, and then you can just look us up on Spotify too, the Dragon Cast. Well, yeah, you're very welcome. <laughs> That's awesome. See, I love that attitude. Man. I, love that I awesome. do too, man. I missed this, dude. I missed it, man. You got it to be here next year, bro. You got to be here. This is amazing. See, I, I'd be chatting it up with all these people, dude. I would see no booze. I have been. People. That's what I do. There's so much, man. Now we're now we're getting into the thick of it, dude. So so be prepared. I'm is, there is, is, is so much. Are you seeing what? What are you seeing? What are you seeing that's uh, catching your eye, bro? I look. To be honest with you, man, I'm looking at the people, man. I'm like, I like, I see Nesco right there. I like that. Uh, people are are out, dude. They're dressed up. They're having a good time. See, that's what I was wanting to see of 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 the crowd showing up to the convention. Right. Yeah. I absolutely do. Look at these pencil drawings over here, man. These are gorgeous. How you doing today, man? I love your. Uh, we're doing a lot. We're doing a recording for our podcast right now. So, what is your name? Kevin. Kevin Nichols. And you do a lot of pencil drawings, man. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, how long does it take to do these pencil drawings? There, dude, the one with the yeah, joke. Yeah, that's 10 awesome. over 200 hours in each piece. Wow. Yeah, that right there. Look at that. That's, that's yeah, amazing, dude. 50 hours. You said 50 hours? 50 250 hours. hours. Victor, did you hear that? 250, 250. hours to do that. That's crazy. Wow. How long, how long like have you been doing uh, pencil dude. art? Pencil art in general, since I can hold a pencil. Um, yeah. Professionally, about eight or nine years. 
Wow. Is it his first time? That's amazing, man. Is this your first time at PopCon? Uh, no, I came to the 2018 one. You were here at 2018. Where are you from? Cincinnati. From Cincinnati. Hey, I'm actually close to Louisville, so we're not that far away. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I All right, man. Feel about coming back after two, three years, man. So my co-host wants to know, wanted to ask you, uh, how do you feel about coming back to conventions after, like, everything that's been going on so far? I feel great. I think it's awesome. It feels good to see all these faces again, right? Exactly, yeah. I mean, no, I, I got vaccinated knowing most people are vaccinated. Same. Like, I just don't worry anymore. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, is this your first convention back? No, I've done, I think this is my fifth this year. I went to one in February where it was still kind of, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's just gradually been getting better, so that's good. Man, that's, that's amazing, man. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, I actually am here to review a convention. I'm a convention reviewer, and uh, my buddy Victor uh, is on here. I'll let you say hi to him. You can see him there. Hey, Victor. nice. There, there he is. Out. Yeah. And uh, but we uh, we're doing a show called the Dragon Cast. You can find us on Spotify, and this will be uh, the audio version of our interaction will be on there, and then it'll be on our YouTube as well for almost thirty thousand people. So Dragon Cast. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Dragon Con? Does not have anything to do with Dragon Con. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only person, <laughs> yeah, my co-host. You're right? not the only person to ask us that. <laughs> but uh, you can Dragon go to. Uh, wants to have us, you know, we'll go. I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah, my, my, my co-host just said if Dragon Con wants to have us, we'll take it. I mean, <laughs> but um, if you can find us on Spotify, and then it's under uh, YouTube.com forward slash Dragon Blogger, and Dragon that's Blogger. where the video version will be at. Okay. I'll give you a business card. I'll give you one right now. Here you go. This will make it so much easier for you. That's me. There you go. Nice to Thanks, meet you, Kevin. Thank, thank you so you much. I appreciate it. There we go. All right, let's keep let's keep moving here. Uh, don't you love it, man? Isn't this amazing to see? Look at this guy's. Oh, I like this guy. You got a little '80s thing going on, yeah. I dig it, man. I love that outfit. That's that's dope, dude. Got the little Marty you, McFly man. hat on. That's pretty sweet. Dude, that proud strike right there. Nice, man. I love it. I love you, it. you, uh, Mario. you'll see a. There's a video I'm gonna. There's a video I'm gonna post later, and you'll be able to see. Uh, oh my God! It's, well, it's that's that's my that's it's my a guy from right Level there. Up, yo. What the? <laughs> yeah, tell tell them about Level Up Gaming Lounge. Man. Oh man, uh, beer on tap. We got uh, a bunch of Playstations, Xboxes. Uh, our whole basement is like a castle almost. So D and D card shop. Almost done, so we got the Twitch setup going up. Yep. Uh, we got fights for Tekken, tournaments all around. Pretty much anything you can think of, we have it. Nice, man. It's dope. I said you guys are doing the after party for PopCon tonight, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Party, 9 o'clock. All right, come on through. Cosplay contest. We'll all be there working. Come say hi to us. Yeah, I'll be there tonight. So, oh, all right, me. brother. Thank you so friend, much, man. man. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude. I, that's, that, that's my kind of right there. The anime booth there. Which one? You missed it. See, you're right. That one. See, I love that kind oh, of Oh, yeah. Dude. Right here. Oh, yeah, dude. You got those banners, dude. That's you awesome. like those banners? Hell yeah, I got my hero on what's there. Your, what's your classroom. favorite anime, Victor? What's your favorite anime? So you can't give a favorite, dude, when you watch so many. Is that Cowboy Bebop down there? <laughs> That's so awesome. Dude. That is Cowboy Bebop yeah, down there. Yes, you were right. Yeah, yeah, sort of. I like SAO, man. That's a good one. Uh, SAO, Cowboy yeah, Bebop Tokyo is good. Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul right there is one of my all-time favorite manga. That's one of your all-time favorites. I, I got Fairy Tale. Uh, Fairy Tale is cool. My hero, my, hero uh, my hero's yeah, up there. ReZero is one of my favorites right now, dude. ReZero is Hey, just okay. So I'm, I'm just saying. That's what's up. Dude, you got to be, you, you got to come out here around. next year, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I got some oh, figures yeah, here. Look. Check this stuff out, man. Wow. Oh, see, that's up my alley too, man. Yeah, I man. I got to be a couple dragons at home and I love these things. I know. I need to get back to uh, collecting dragons. You know, I mean, we are dragon cast right? after like, all. So, I mean, like going off so you many know. Dragons. Yeah, man. It's a giant booth, dude. Uh, hey, let's so go ahead and keep going. Booth, speaking of booths and merchandise, man. Hey, look, there you go, Toga. That's awesome. See, that's from my hero right there, too. Yeah. That's my kind of people. Yeah, there. man. Hey, so, there you uh, go. Speaking of booths, man, what kind of stuff have you purchased? You've been there for a day and a half now. 
Bro, so, I, ain't, I, I haven't got not, I haven't picked up a single thing yet, dude. But my wallet is like just oh man, it's like it's ready to explode, dude. There's oh, just dude. so much to there's so any, much here. Like is there anything in particular? Here we go. I'll tell you what, I am a cup collector. I am a mug and cup collector. And I'm going to tell you something. I just saw this booth and we're going to go scope it out real quick. They have all kinds. Look at this. Mugs yeah, and I'm cups. Like they've got like, you know, God of War. Oh, yeah. Look Check at that. that out. Those you got Spyro. Awesome. I love that Spyro one. That one's really sweet, too. And then you've got all the uh, different coffee mugs as well. Oh, the Majora's mask on the right is awesome, dude. Right? Check that I out, man. It. Yeah. That's yeah, so cool. dude. Smash, you got smash, nice. smash logo. Yeah, man. There's so much here. They got shot glasses. Like there's a there's a Mass Effect N7 uh shot glass right there. Nice, nice. I love nice. it. So that's that's my thing. I, I'm a big cup collector. That's what I like to um that's kind of what I like to collect and get into is is mugs and cups and things like that. So I really dig it. There's a lot more over here too. So they got like Skyrim. Destiny, oh, you got um, Overwatch there. All the mugs, dude. I, I'm telling you what, man. I would buy them all if I could. <laughs> <laughs> I would buy them all if I could. <laughs> um, oh, oh, my bad. Um, I'm finding yeah. out. I don't have any. <laughs> yeah. So right, so right now we're kind of in the middle of the convention. So as you can kind of see, like I'm, I'm surrounded by all sorts of music. So, so, so straight ahead is where a lot of the celebrities are um, and things like that. They have them in an L shape. I actually got to meet uh, the guy who does the voice of um, John Marston and talk with him yesterday. And um, yeah, he's uh, Rob Wehoff. He's a, he's a great dude. Got the chance to talk with him. You see anything that catches your eye, Victor? Dude, they, everything catches my eye. I'm like, going yeah. Back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> we're, record, we're recording our podcast, the Dragon Cast, right now. And are you? I'm certain you're Tristan Thompson, yes, not the basketball player. I, not the I, basketball I, player. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Tell everybody about your art. Uh, so my art is all digital. Um, I have my two latest comic covers. I have Vampirella and I have Red oh, Sonia right there. Oh, yeah. uh, I have some fan art, I guess you'd say, and okay. then. I, I have Dust Rider, which is a book that was written and drawn by me. It was all funded through Kickstarter. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So, I have volume one, two, and I had a three, but I sold out. But I have book one, which is all three together as one story. And that's awesome. Thank you. I like that Mario right there. Yeah, Mario's gorgeous, man. That's a beautiful Mario print. He says he did it all over there, So, I got Ocarina of Time stuff. I have. Yeah, you say you, so you do everything digitally, right? Yeah, everything. I mean, I'll start sketches. Like, I have these. Those are uh, line drawings. But okay. those are just, like, commissions that I could do. Okay. Uh, but everything, like, all the prints are all digital, yeah. Mm. Oh, check They're out this uh, Little Mermaid, man. Look at this. Look at this Little Mermaid. That's insanely realistic. Oh, yeah, that is really cool. Dude. Wow. Show wow, some man. Of the other ones that are right there. Let me see. Yeah, those are pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, well, ones. yeah. And then you've got some uh, back behind. You got a oh, I, oh man, I'm a huge Ninja Turtles guy, bro. That's cool. Bro, right look there. at that. Look at that. Ocar the, they got the Ocarina of Time down there. Oh, yeah. that's legit, man. Hey, uh, while you're doing that, yeah, you can show it on. Show put it on the camera. There's yeah, let people see. There's everything. I'll take your card too. Yeah. yeah there you go, the man. Card, I'll give you my card too. Yeah, let's do it. And uh, this will be on uh, Monday on our U on the YouTube. What's your YouTube. I'm gonna give you my cart. Yeah. It's gonna have everything you need. Awesome. That's me. I'm Ryan so Daniels. Ask him, ask him if this is first. Who did you think you're Andy? I am not local. I'm from here, but I I'm down in Southern Indiana. What part? Uh, Jeffersonville. Oh, okay. So I'm I'm like right across from Louisville. That's like an hour and a half away. It's not that far. Uh, what, were, what were you gonna? What do you want to ask him, Victor? So my co-host wants to know how do you feel about coming back to a con? This con, yeah, for sure. So since I'm local, even if I just make my booth feedback, like it's worth it to me because I get to talk to people, meet people. So um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna come back next year. It's always worth it. Nice. How does it feel nice. being back with seeing people like? seeing faces and and like having like all these people kind of like brushing shoulders again how's that feel man 
it's like a family reunion. I mean, honestly, like wow. I see people I haven't seen in like a year and a half, and it's great. Like I see them, got to give each other a hug. It's all like it's all good. It's amazing. How many cons have you done so far this year? This is my this is my first one back. Oh, it's first your first one, one back. back. Nice. Hey, welcome back, man. Yeah, he said. Uh, Victor said, "Welcome back." Yeah, man. I mean, it's crazy for a Saturday. I feel like it's even busier because. You know, it's the first big yeah. con back here in downtown Indy and here at the yeah. Indiana Convention Center. Yeah, ready to come back. And like, that's how it was uh, Friday, yesterday. It was surprisingly busy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Well, good, um, man. you know, that's we. Good, that's good. Yeah. Well, we, we, we always are looking for artists to be on our podcast. And I've reached out to a couple others and you got my contact information. So if you want to be on our show, we'd love to have you on, man. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Tristan. Oh, we appreciate good. you, brother. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There That's is awesome. another booth that I need to find. And I told them, I don't, oh, I got to find it. We're going to do speed. We're going to kind of do speed run here real quick. Hold on. Speed run, speed run, speed run, speed run, speed run. Speed run. And you get, you get a glimpse of all the stuff here. Yeah, yeah, man. No doubt. No doubt about it. Let's see if I can find these guys over here. Nice. I think I know where that, excuse me, guys. That's so it, feels, uh, it feels good to be like brushing shoulders with people again, too. It's really, uh, it's really kind of awesome to be able to do that. Oh, here we are. I think I found it. I think I found it. It's another art, it's another comic book artist that uh, I told I would talk to. So they nice, are right nice, here. Nice. Here we go. It's got a comic called Sunny Haze. What's up, man? I told you I'd be by. You're on the Dragon Cast right now. <laughs> hey, hi, man. Hello. Hi, so tell everybody uh, what your name is and what you're here for. I am Shamanic. Take the microphone. All right, before. sweet. Yeah. I am Shamanic Ape, and I am here for the Carnivore Saga. We have released our first two books for the saga. The first one is named Shamanic Ape after myself. And then the other one is named Sunny Hayes after the hip hop artist from Brooklyn, Sunny Hayes. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, right on. So we're actually touring around the U.S. this summer to all these different comic cons. So. Yeah, promoting the um, book. How's it? How does it feel to be, to be back at a con like this, man? It feels great. Yeah. yeah, you can see the energy people needed, the connection to go out and meet people again. It's great. It's and this great. is your first ever con. This is yeah. This yeah, is, oh, first, first ever con. Ever. It's very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How does it feel to like? What, what were your expectations before coming to a con? Like, what you know? I really didn't know what to expect. I was just hoping to come and like tell the story, you know, like share about the Carniverse and share about what we're doing this summer with promoting the book and going, yeah, around, you know, state to state, kind of taking a chance after COVID, but we, you know, we did it anyways. And I've been over in Japan for twenty years Japan? now. Yeah, yeah. so. Wow. I'm actually living in Okinawa. I've been living there for 20 years. In Okinawa? Yeah. Nice. So, I heard it's a really nice part. I've never been to Japan. Beautiful. Like, beautiful. Oh, so oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. But I've been gone so long, so I'm just stoked to be back in summer, you know? It's great. That's amazing. That's awesome. That's so awesome. How was it? Well, you haven't been to the U.S. in a while either. Yeah. How long has it been? Like, how long have Probably been two or three years since I've been back. Yeah, really? it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. Are you plan on going back to Japan? <laughs> I'll be back uh, in Japan in October, and then we'll come back for the second leg of the tour. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> what, what's so, the next leg? Is it going to be in the West Coast anytime soon? So my uh, so my co-host wants to know: Are you coming to the West Coast anytime soon? He's out in LA. Yeah, we we will be in September. We will be in Portland. Okay. Okay, Portland. Nice. What will you be there for? Kind of yeah, I can't remember the name of the con, but if you go to carniverse.com, we've got our full tour schedule up there. And nice, uh, where can, nice, where can nice. folks go online to find your work? Carniverse.com. Okay. Thank you, I appreciate <laughs> Thanks. it, man. Appreciate it. I'm glad I'm able to stop by. I was like, I got to find this dude. Go, go, go. You know, yeah, make sure I get that promote, man. I, I appreciate I tell, it. I tell somebody something, man, about words. Appreciate so. it, man. Yeah, all right, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much, man. Thank you I'll for the time. You. Did you have any other questions you wanted to ask him before I go, before I move on? No, we're, we're good. Aside from the website, no Twitter, no Facebook, no anything like that where we can still do you have any? Uh, do you have any Twitter, Facebook, or anything like that? Yes. Everything is at Carniverse. Oh, so it's all there. The website. 
Very Scott. nice. All right. All right. Perfect. All right. Thank my you so much, Kevin. I appreciate it, man. Friend, um, I gave you my card, right? This will be up on Monday on YouTube. On that YouTube link, it'll be up on Monday. All right, brother. All right. Thanks, man. All right. So all right. Cool. All right. All right, dude. Yeah, man. See, I see a lot of UA stuff, man. I see a lot of uh, My Hero Academia cosplaying going on. Nice, man. Dude. Well, I will tell you, I, dude, I know cool, I should have worn my T-Rex hat, dude. I, I know. Um, I will tell you why there's so much cosplay here or for my, my hero academia, because there are voice actors from the show here. That's right. Yeah. That's, that's right. why there is so much, uh, my hero academia is because of the, uh, voice. Some of the voice actors are here and, um, let me see if I can go down there because I know. Oh, hey, there's Raven. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you ran into your wife. That's great. <laughs> That's you were like going cool, all over dude. the place trying to find me, right? <laughs> oh, I love a cosplay, dude, man. Dude, Check dude, it out, dude. Man. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z, dude. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, man, that's so cool. Yeah, it's so great. The vibe, play is great. The vibe looks so fun, dude. The vibe looks so fun. Dude. Oh, you have a blast here, man. Like this, this is uh, this is one of my favorite conventions to go to, like for sure. Um, let's go down here. Excuse me. And as you can see, there's a celebrity. So like, got Jim Cummings here, um, Billy West, Paul, Rob Paulson. Uh, Maurice is here. Those are the guys that do Pinky in the Brain. Um, they're all here. Um, they're actually going to be doing a thing called Twisted Tunes later today. And what and basically that's what right. that is is uh, yeah, we that's where they that. all read from a script. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, we got tons of people here. Hey, what's up, Hannah? How you doing? That's nothing much, man. We're just doing a uh, we're doing the Dragon Cast right now. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Have you been enjoying PopCon so far? Absolutely. I've just been sitting in the volunteer HQ all day, but you know, I, I come out of my cage every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> right. What's nice. been the most exciting part of this con so far for you? Um, the, just the fact that Roger Clark and Rob Weedoff are here is very exciting for me because I've put over like 700 hours into Red Dead 2. It's my favorite game. Me too. Yeah. I put so much time into that game. It's so good. Yeah. It's, it's very easy to sit down and like do everything minute and time just wasted away and i had to take it i was in my xbox for like eight months but this like this never left um and then i sold my xbox and went you know over. you know my wife tells me it's a very calming game and i think it is because of the environment and the scenery and granted there's a lot of story there but it's you know just the environment and things like you get to hunt and fish and things like that it's such a calming game. Yeah. I will tell you what, when I, I met Rob yesterday, I talked to him for a little bit. It's so weird his voice here that like John Marson voice, because it's just his natural voice. But um, so what is it that you do here for PopCon? Um, I am the area lead for the volunteer HQ. So I basically check all the volunteers in and out every day. If fires come up, I put them out. <laughs> so I'm also a, a volunteer firefighter. Yeah. Not an actual oh, KJ, KJ again. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, awesome man. uh did you anticipate this many people here today no, no. are you guys serious i talked i talked to less and he was like no and i'm like but this is like the first in-person one in ever you know yeah no i totally didn't expect this many people to show up like i thought it was going to be smaller i thought people were still going to be like staying in their homes but yeah. i i am so like this ecstatic that there's this many people here oh my god people are seeing people after two years of not seeing each other and oh. vendors getting the money that well-deserved money that they need yeah uh, for being out of business for basically a whole entire year yeah uh, and just relying on online sales so it's probably good for them it's good for us it's it's good for the way win. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I think really it's just people have been itching to get out i know me i'm a big extrovert and so like i've been dying to just get into a con and uh, for this being like the first big con of the year and really the first con here back at the ICC. Yeah. Just, you know, like crazy, man. Like even Friday felt like kind of like a lot Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. What is the one uh, besides them being here? Like what's the other thing that like excites you the most about being at a con, like just at a con period. Yeah. Um, it's just seeing everybody. I know there's a lot of people that live just very far away from me. Um, so it's being able to see those people in person again, um, just, just seeing all the costumes and everything. Like people have had a whole year to work on stuff. 
So there's a lot of there's a lot of good stuff this year. I've seen a lot of cool stuff. I know that there's been a lot of like new fandoms too, like the last couple of years, like yeah. the Resident Evil Village and some yeah. new games coming out that you haven't got to see anybody cosplay yet. And even I kind of like uh, when, when I saw Lady to Mr. Goo, I was like, I don't remember that because I've not, you know, I've not got to see anybody cosplay that yet. So it kind of threw me off a little bit. But what are some of your favorite cosplays you've seen so far? Like just like here this past this weekend so far? Yeah, um, I saw a giant wiki earlier. Which was a funny. giant wicket? No, Wookie. Wookie, yeah. Oh, Wookie. the Wookie, yeah, yeah. I think I saw. He's like. Yeah, really tall. I saw that yesterday. Yeah. Um, I think that I think she was on the news yesterday for Channel yeah. Eight with Carl. They were like yeah. over there. That's awesome. I think they're with the five hundred first. I think they are. Yeah. Which, make, which would make sense. That would make a lot of sense. Yeah. Ridiculous yeah. and off the charts. Any any other cosplays that you've been like I, really wowed honestly, by? I haven't really been out of HQ for that long, <laughs> so. Yeah. It, you know, I'm taking everything in. There's a lot of cowboys here, which is good. Oh, for Red Dead. For, 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 for Red Dead, yeah. Every time I go by here, I'm, I'm, I, I expect to see at least one or two cowboys here. Otherwise, I'll be really disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I'm kind of low-key disappointed because like, since I'm volunteering all weekend, I can't cosplay Arthur. Yeah, yeah. I, I, also I know you do a uh, Arthur Morgan cosplay, right? Yeah. It looks really good, too. Yeah, I've seen a lot of Arthur here. Uh, have you seen? I haven't really seen anybody. Really, oh, maybe that's, is that a John Marston there? That's an R, yeah, yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah. All right, well, thank you, Hannah. Yeah. We appreciate you very much. Did you have any questions for Hannah, Victor? No, just I'm glad to hear that, you know, everyone's uh, a surprise that it's a better than expected turnout, which is great. You know, it's great. Yeah, he said, he, he said he's, he's glad that it's a better than expected turnout. Yeah. So, all right. All right, we're going to walk around a little bit more, but thank you, Hannah. Yeah. Awesome. We appreciate thank it. We'll see you. Time, Hannah. All right, all right. So we're going to keep going here. And uh, we've got cheese and there's more so good. celebrities so here. Good. Nice. Yeah, I'm sure you're seeing a lot of things you notice because you're still delved into like anime. Oh yeah, dude. I, I used to watch anime a lot, but I just I'm not I, I don't watch it very much anymore. I'm a I'm a gamer, you know, through and through, dude. That's what I do, man. You know what it is with me, dude? I'm a storyteller, man. I love stories. Uh huh. And, uh -huh. and some yeah. of this anime storytelling is just phenomenal dude it's it's way better than than you would expect it to be once you start diving into it very deep yeah. very uh, uh, it's engaging man that's what it is so i love this absolutely yeah yeah mm -hmm. i um i love the cosplay like it's it's like its own um it's its own art show it's its own like living yeah, art really? show you know what people walking around and uh, you're getting a chance to see like so many different, um, you know, like uh, what, what people have put their time into, you know, yeah. and yeah, people um, are putting time and effort into these costumes. You know, some of well, them are just well, especially now, considering they've had about two years to really do that. Look at the BB-8 uh, on the floor, dude. That's fucking awesome. I know the BB-8 down there. Yeah, look. That's awesome. Cool, yeah. Dude. Yeah, man. What? Yeah, dude, Victor, you gotta come. You gotta be. You gotta be here next year, brother. You gotta be here, man. Oh, yeah. Yes, you got it. You gotta come down here and do this with me, brother. It's a ton of fun, man. And we got some more celebrities over here on the left. Um, you've got uh, uh, David uh, Matt Ranga. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> let me uh do you like lego victor do you like legos you like legos okay i got something for you before we stop okay i got something for you before we get out of here all right Look, man, let I me love legos, but i don't like stepping on them because that sucks <laughs> yeah that does that does suck. but but you don't have to worry about stepping on them here because check this out dude let me see let me all see all the lego oh look at that pirates of the caribbean that's so cool and then we've got you know what, man i love these models man i love i love these lego models like this the time and the work that's just so intricate dude it's so cool look at that i know right isn't this amazing that's amazing i love the drag i see I, somebody i saw somebody build this yesterday right here, yeah. yeah dragon 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 cast man there it is dude <laughs> we got we got dragons yeah, plenty of dragons. <laughs> dude, the, the patience, the patience to create something like that is just phenomenal, dude. Here's the uh, Adams family house here. Check this out, Adams family house. Oh yeah, look at that. You that got the family down there. Ah. 
Oh, I isn't see. That amazing? <laughs> yeah, isn't that amazing, man? That is so cool. That's awesome, ain't it? Sometimes and then you um, find a convention you don't really see anywhere else. Man. They put their whole work on display, and it's just awesome. Yeah. And then we've this got so uh, cool. little uh, Brogu there. Look at that the one. Child. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. We've got the Hulkbuster. And then oh, we've got over here. Movie. You're going to like this. This is the down to AT-AT. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. You got the down at at there. And then that they have so a big cool. uh, space, uh, two tables over here, Victor, where you can just make whatever you want with Legos. Oh, so you got some so people cool. See, over like here that. building. I like that idea. Got a little big, they got a nice big uh, builder space over here to uh, to build things and just kind of make your own creations. And I think it's pretty yeah. awesome. Oh, and of course, man. there's a giant booth here uh, that is selling a bunch of Lego sets. That's oh, so yeah, man. Cool. I love the oh, idea. You got, the, <laughs> you got the Daily Bugle here. Look at that. Check that out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Um, so uh so yeah man that's i'll turn the camera back around here and uh well maybe hold on we might we might turn the camera back around here we go so that's popcorn man that's that's popcorn man it's this is uh you know this is one of my oh, favorite that's conventions Shinzo. That's Shinzo. nice I'm telling you, man. <laughs> so you know he's spotted yeah, he's spotting yeah, all the He's spotting, he's spotting all the, the the anime characters that I have no idea about. <laughs> That's funny. So look at this guy, oh, dude! I'm telling you, no man. You know what? It's it's it's. I love conversing with people, man. That's why I think it's a great idea to have moments and, and cons to just talk to the people. How you been? What's going on? How I absolutely time agree. Let you know, me. That's why. That's why it's so great to see such a great turnout there, man. Let me take you out the out of the vendor hall so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like outside of here. Because there's a whole other space as well. Um, well like I said, man, the goal is to be there next year. You know, we'll the weekly area so we can go ahead and spend Friday, Saturday, and Sunday there. And uh, the plan's in place. Now it's just a matter of executing. If, you know, everything allows, we should be able to get it done. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Um, I'll show you out here in the. Uh, this is this is the entrance. We're going through the entrance. Should be, but this is. Uh, I'll turn the camera around. And get get ready. You're gonna see a ton of people. Okay, you already have seen a ton of people. But here we go. This is uh, the mass, massive people. Oh yeah, dude. And there's still quite a few out there. Yeah, they're so what's they're going all on over. In the lobby, actually, is there anything going on out in the lobby that there's? Not <laughs> So out, out here, out. so out here in the lobby is um, there's all these panel rooms over here on the left, and that's where all the panel, various panels are going are happening at. Um, over here is registration. This is where you pick up your uh, badges if you've already paid for them, or if you need to buy a badge, you can buy it at the window over there. Gotcha. Um, you've got panel rooms. There's a VIP room here. And then you've got uh, panel rooms all the way down. I'll just kind of do that there so you can get a better uh, bird's yeah, eye I view. Got, I got a good of view everything of yeah. here. And uh, what you can actually expect when you uh, are here at PopCon. Um, but uh, yeah, man, there's a. Uh, oh, check these guys. See these guys. Too. These guys are great. All right. Tell me, tell me what they're from because I don't know. You probably will know. Is that is that Overwatch? I love, that looks like uh, that looks like hot. Yeah, aren't those cool the two, though? The two, the two ladies with the yeah. wings are hot. I think right so. Thing. I think so. And then there's a there's a food area for all the way back there at the end of the hall is food. And then um, yeah, man, there's Dude, thousands of people here. Right. That's really cool. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, I think what happens is too is does it does get pretty hot in the vendor hall, as you can imagine. So um, a lot of people just tend to come out here to take a break and cool off a little bit. And uh, oh, somebody else is doing a podcast over there too. You probably hear them a little bit. So oh, I heard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's and then cool, you got a little uh, little place here to stand in front of and take pictures with popcorn and things like that. So, so and then they got the film festival. Remember how Carl told us about the yes. film festival? So they have a film festival. Now, right? 
that is going on all throughout the weekend. That's yeah. Right. So they got little um, pamphlets and things to give away for some of the movies and, and things going on as well. Um, it does show you like what's what movies are playing over there. Um, but yeah, the film festival is going on all weekend and the uh, awards are tomorrow night. So yeah, they're just going on in that room. Do you need a ticket to be in the lobby or is a ticket just to get a No, you can be you can be in the lobby without a badge. Gotcha. So there could be a lot of mm-hmm. Yeah, there could be a lot of people just in here like checking it out and that aren't necessarily going to the con and just uh you know just wanting to see the cosplay and things like that. And I don't really blame them because you know, if, if I weren't able to come, I'd probably at least want to come in here and check out the cosplay. Oh yeah, dude. I mean, you're paying people here, and I would love to chat with them. Where you're coming from, you know, how much time they put into this costume. It was great stuff, dude. Absolutely, man. Lots of uh, amazing cosplay, and and down at the end of the hall, and I'm gonna turn around, and we'll just show you what uh what you've been seeing here. No, that's a long haul, dude. It is, That's man. Long, yeah. <laughs> so this is actually considered the old side of the Indiana Convention Center. Now, um, you, I, I'm sure you've heard of Gen Con. Gen Con is the largest uh, tabletop and uh, role-playing game convention in North America. And it actually takes up the entire convention. There's actually a much bigger hall uh, a, a, all the way down to around the corner that's completely empty. But when Gen Con is in town, it takes up the entire... I mean, there's like probably 50 times more people here. So... <laughs> Wow. So yeah. That's awesome. So so yeah, what do you think, man? What do you think, Victor, about all this craziness, man? I'm telling you, man. Absolutely, man. It's been uh <laughs> It's been yeah. fun so far, man. I've been having a blast. Got some panels to go to around. later. See, man, you wouldn't have been the only T Rex. Turn around. You missed it. I see him. He's right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, T Rex over there, man. I love seeing the T Rex, man. It's really cool. It's really neat. <laughs> but uh, we, we had a great opportunity to talk to a couple vendors, and we got to uh, talk to someone from the staff. And uh, let's see, we, what else can we get into here? What am I missing? Am I missing anything, Victor? I think you got, I think you got a good, uh, you captured the vibe really well. Uh, the crowd there I think so is, too. Is, is, is really vibing as the kids say these days. <laughs> as the, as, as um, the kids say these days. As the kids say, as the kids say right? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, no, man, the atmosphere looks great, dude. Even outside in the lobby in the hall area. Look, I see Yu-Gi-Oh back there. Come on, it's Yugi Yami right there, man. You got Yugi, Yugi over Yugi? here? Yeah, we'll turn it around. <laughs> yeah, you, you got Yugi over there. Yeah. Especially when you see older stuff like that. It's just, uh, you know, that's the passion. That's all that is. It's passion. No, nah, man. I can... I'm looking at the crowd, man. You can see it. They, they love it. They're great. They, they love to be back. That's what it looks Absolutely, like. Absolutely, man. I'm going to take you back into the vendor hall so you can kind of see firsthand what it's like getting in, walking into this beast. Because you, you got to see what it was like getting out of there. So we're going in. This is where you would come in after buying your badge. Shinobu. I see Shinobu. <laughs> Victor's just calling out all the fandoms right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, that's the, that's here we are, man. This is it. In the mouth of yeah, madness, dude. Here we are. You got uh, Michael Myers and... Love it. Look at the young one, man. I mean, yeah. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Yeah, dude. No, yeah, man. man. So You can already tell that the crowd picked up just from when we started. Look, you can already see that there's oh. more people in the field. Absolutely, man. I'll turn the camera back around here. Yeah, man. We got we, There's a lot of people here today, man. It's It's been... Uh, they're crazy. You still got people coming in the door okay. here next to me. Yeah, coming in right here. That's but awesome. uh, but yeah, man. Well, that's all the time we're gonna have today for this episode of the Dragon Cast. And uh, it's uh, it's been a pleasure to to be here and and do this and uh, be able to record. We we'll probably we could probably end up doing this for any convention I go to, man, on a Saturday. I'll just, I'll, I'll just uh, take you with me, man. We can I have you in my pocket. <laughs> have you in my pocket and then maybe eventually i'll have you uh 
I'll have you in my, uh, I'll be here with me when I go to, so I said, I'll have you in my heart too. <laughs> so it's a two for one ticket. Two for one ticket. <laughs> that's right. That's right. All right. Well, um, thank you guys for, uh, listening to this episode and, uh, you can always find us here on Spotify, uh, Apple podcasts, Google podcasts, and any of your podcast platforms. Also, I will drop a link to, um, Brock's, uh, social medias on the bottom of this YouTube. So you can find him and Kevin's artwork as well. Yes. And um, I yeah, hope you guys yeah. had fun at PopCon. And if you had fun at PopCon and if you attended PopCon or if you see yourself in this video, leave a comment down below and let us know what you thought of PopCon this weekend. Right. Other than that, were, we're going to sign off there, for now. Man, if you guys were there, you know, let us know what you guys thought of it. It looks like it's a great time, dude. You should go enjoy yourself, man. <laughs> absolutely come on you know uh, obviously by, by the time this cup gets posted pop Kyle will be over but you definitely want to make sure you come uh next year because uh this is any indication next year is going to probably be even even crazier than this year so but uh but thank you guys for watching this episode of dragon cast and until next time we'll see you guys later